Hello again and welcome to a new video. This is our 2018 Audi S3 Quattro Black Edition with the auto gearbox. This car is finished in aura blue crystal effect, so it's a very metallic color. We'll come in close and show you that in a minute. It's just clicked on to 29,000 miles and we've just completed a full service on the car. So we're gonna take you around the car the entire car has been machine polished, machine polished to a very high level and uh, all the, the fine scratches that you get from washing your car over a sponge are all taken out through that process and we get a very, very glossy finish on the paintwork. So if I come in, we've got various different light, we've got the lights and then we've got daylight coming in, but you can see that really lovely, that's why it's called crystal effect, you can see it glistening as we follow the light round. Now, there are very few chips on this bonnet, and if there are, they are very, very small. I'm just trying to see if I can find one. Um, I can't really see, oh, there's, oh no. A couple of little tiny, maybe. There, just catch it in the reflection of the lights there. I'm gonna come back and just see how close I've panned in there. But all of the bonnet is in really nice condition, as you can see. And is the windscreen as well. It's not been peppered by stones from the road. Sometimes you can get these performance cars and the windscreens are very peppered. You can see it's very little marks on there as well. Just come up to the roof. Nothing on the roof of any substance as a little chip. If I can find it. Oh, just there, which has been touched in. Other than that, there's no bird dropping stains or anything on the roof. We've got the privacy glass at the back. I just wanted to show you the boot lid, no scratches, nothing nasty there. And you've got the little boot spoiler there. We'll just come back out now and show you the car from this side. Now this has got the 19 inch motorsport alloys in the titanium gray finish and the diamond cut spokes. If I come in nice and close, you can just see on there it's got Audi Sport. Get that in focus. On the alloy there black brake calipers on here. Uh, I believe in the service, the rear brake pads were done. It's running on the P0 tires as well. And with the black edition, you get the black wing mirror covers, black gloss grill at the front. Looks like we've got headlight wash on there as well. The nice LED running lights. All the wheels are in really nice condition. If we look down the side of the car as well, there are no ding dents or anything. Let's show you down there. And again, up in front of the driver, side on the glass, no chips, no damage up here. Just come out. No chipping on the door edges either. come back out and then I'll come in and show you that rear wheel. So that's this side. And the spelling of the color is A-R-A. -A. So I, th I think it's either Ara or Aura or whatever it is. But uh, if you Google it, you'll, you'll pick up the color a lot better than maybe this camera's picking it up. There's your rear wheel. Like I say it's uh, Pirelli's all round, all round the filler cap. This will run safely on the E10 fuel as well. Just close that. We've got rear parking sensors back here. Obviously you've got the quad pipes. I'll just come back here. And then the diffuser at the bottom. Personally, I think that the saloon is a much more muscular looking car, sportier car than the Sportbacks. 
really lovely looking car. Let's just come back and show you this angle. In fact, while we're here, we may as well just take a look in the boot. In doing so, if we just check out, I'd like to point out all the areas where you potentially get scratches. And this is one of them as people take stuff out of the boot, but as you can see, it's in really nice condition. It's not got any nasty scratch marks or anything. And the rear seats drop down as well, 60-40 split in there. All of the carpets are in really nice condition. And if we pop this up here, got a space saver in the back there. And uh, the jacks in there. Got the locking wheel nut as well, of course. We'll pop that down. And the warning triangle just up there like so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So let's take a look inside. Oh, just I'll just come down low on this side as well to show you. Again, no ding dents, no ripples or anything in the paintwork. No chipping on the edges of the doors. All the black gloss has all been machine polished as well. We've got the Audi symbol that's uh, shone onto the floor from the puddle light. And then inside, the black edition gets the Bang & Olufsen sound system with these nice speakers and the white strip there illuminates at night as well excuse my fingers all of the door shuts i've checked them all around but just showing you this one all in really nice condition no scratches just bring you all up and round there we go I've just picked up a new phone, so I'm hoping the camera is going to be a little bit more sensitive to the light. Now we have four way lumbar adjustment and the fine Napa Super Sport seats with this really nice quilted stitching and the embossed S3 logo in the center there. And these really nice winged sort of chairs. And what that does, it holds where your shoulder blades are. So when you accelerate, you don't sort of get pushed back. You're held nice and comfortably in the seat. You've got these really nice deep bolsters as well, all in lovely condition. The black edition gets the technology pack. So a bit like on the BMWs, you can write on the top of this wheel that's used to uh, use the media which is folded away at the moment but we'll turn the car on when we come round we've got all the books in there and the media SD cards etc in there you can adjust the tilt of the seat as well we've got two levers at the front one for backwards and forwards and one that adjusts the angle of the base of the seat Check out this rear door card now. There we go. And again, you see the Bang & Olufsen speakers. Beautiful and clean, no damage on the door card. And then if we check around the door shuts, not had any seat belts jammed in there, which can sometimes scratch or dent the paintwork. all up and around in lovely condition. And if we check out the back of these lovely big chair seats, chair seats, seats. <laughs> you see all the nettings in good condition, no scuff marks there. And again, in the back, you've got the Isofix, but it's not got any impressions on the leather. It's not had any child seats or anything like that in there, which is, uh, stretch marks in there all in really nice condition let's try and get that there we go okay we've popped around the other side 
Again, the door edge, no chipping or anything on there. And just running down the edge there. No damage there. And in really nice condition. Show you all the way around. There we go. And then again on the seats, bring you in nice and close so you can see. It's a really nice quality of leather, the, the Napa leather. And the back of the driver's seat. And the vents down here, no damage down there. They've hardly been sat in the back. Look, it's not even a crease. Okay, so we'll check out the driver's door. I just wanted to see. Okay, so I was just checking to see how that had keyless entry. Driver's door card, let's just turn those lights to the off position, down the edge of this door card. And again, really clean. I mean, I don't know if I mentioned, the previous owner was a, a lady. So I doubt very much if it's uh, had a hard life or anything like that. She's really looked after the car. Again, if you just look at the seat, there's no wear on the bolsters, no scratches in the leather, which you sometimes see on these Napa leather seats. The stitching continues onto the center armrest, but auto hold in there as well. And then when you come to the steering wheel, again, sometimes you get scratches on the leather here, but this is all nice. Excuse me. So all lovely in there. And the nice, uh, I don't know if there's still the uh, foot pedals in there, auto lights. I've got the, I think it's uh, all weather, I think it might be high beam assist or something. I forget that. Let's just jump in here. <laughs> Realised I've put the key in my pocket. Okay, I shut the door. Pop the key in. So ups just has just popped the sat nav screen, and we have the virtual cockpit here as well. Now we have buttons on the left of the steering wheel. Let me just get that in focus. Now, if we press on view, let me just put the handbrake on, there we go. So we press on view. So within this area, we can change the view like so. Let me just press okay to clear that. So we're on the Bluetooth. Now, if we use these two buttons to go across from left to right, this is where, and then into the map. And then by pressing the view button, we can change that. Now I'm gonna bring it back to the other screen and you'll see just over here, this line here is represented by these here. There's a plus on the other side, if I zoom in. There you go. So by pressing these outside buttons just here, we get another menu. I'm going to use the little scroll wheel to go down there. There's a back button. If we use the right hand button for the plus, we can change map colors. And that's the same for most of the screens. So we'll come out of there. I think one of the... And then you can go into lap times and things like that. 
and you can also, by the looks of it, change the layout, sport layout or classic. You can see from the picture, if I flip between the two, one will give you the rev counter and one just gives you the, let's just flick on that one. And if we come out of there, and then we can go into our media on here as well. So lots of options in there. Let's get it back to the this window. Let's leave it there for now. And of course, the screen up here is all. Let's turn the heat off. Control down here. Our radio, media, etc. Either side. Brake hold. This is your handbrake. And then we've got your S-Tronic gearbox come back into drive or when you flip it back like so that puts it in sport and you'll see s1 has just come up there if i flip the gearbox back again back into d1 i'm going to put it in park now up here we have drive select so when you press down on drive select we can now use the wheel that we were talking about you can run on the top hand go over to the right now in individual, you can change um, the dynamics of this setting, engine and gearbox, we've got, let's go into there actually, uh, comfort, auto, dynamic. So you could have the that on auto. I'm guessing what it does in auto is it adjusts your driving style. And then suspension, because we've got the uh, magnetic ride I think that might be standard on the black edition, but I check everything on the Audi app for this particular car using the chassis number. So that's where all the information from the adverts come. I haven't just ticked on any old box for the sake of it. I've actually checked it out on the Audi platform. And the sound you can change as well. So you can play around with that. Come out of there. Now, if I go into mapping, where we've got mapping, you can write with your finger. So, can you see that? If I put in a P, mm. oh, it thinks it's a G, okay. Mm. O, etc., and so on. So, you can write, like I say, on the top of there. Um, now, media, I think I've taken some pictures, but you can link up your phone onto the screen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, etc., and it will display your apps on here. Uh, for that, you need to plug the lead in, and that goes in just under here. And there's USB ports. We've also got Bluetooth, uh, sorry, wireless charging. I don't know why I keep saying Bluetooth charging, it's wireless charging. Um, this button here just brings the screen down like so. Put that back up as well got dual climate control we've got heated seats and uh, I think we've been in here we've seen the glove box in there we've seen under there so pretty much um, if you have any questions I mean there's so much in here to go through we've got cruise control down here this side we've got uh, volume controls voice activation and shortcuts there but what I want to do now is take you under the bonnet, show you the engine bay. Let's see if I can do it oh, nice and easy. Yeah. So this is the four cylinder turbocharged engine, which is 310 PS. So it's just over 300 brake horsepower. All the engine bay has been cleaned by hand. We're back to two detailers, like you say now, because we, we did lose one and then uh, we've been waiting to find the right person to fulfill the job. And uh, we're back to two, so hopefully we'll get more cars advertised in the next week or so, a lot quicker. But really nice and clean under here. It's a beautiful colour. Just keep coming back to the colour. It's nice when we get really nice colors of cars in the showroom because we have a lot of white in the background and the colors stand out so nicely 
So there we have our 18 plate S3 Black Edition four door quattro with some really nice features on the car. We've got some great finance packages, very good warranty options. We can, we can sell your warranty up to four years now. So if you're taking a car out on PCP, you can protect your um, car or your, um, for the whole term, sorry, words escaped me for a second. Your asset, sorry, that's all. You can protect your asset for the full four years against uh, any mechanical breakdowns and stuff like that. Please give us a call if you want some more information on that. But thank you for taking the time to watch the video and uh, hope to speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.